Good morning, everyone. It's Tremia, and today's Thursday, and it's only 8 o'clock, and we've already been busy. Um, did, we did get some breakfast down, which we have been every morning, um, because you don't know what's going to happen or, like, what time you'll make it to get any food. But um, we did that, went and turned in my 24-hour urine, and they said they had to do more blood work. Did not expect that. And uh, so I told them, you know, I was like running, we, you know, we had to get to another appointment, so they got me right back and they did that. So I got another blood stick. And now, right now, I'm in my fancy gown waiting to get my chest x rays. And then we've only we got 20 minutes and we got to be up to the other floor to the dermatologist and that's going to be the all the biopsies and talking they're going to talk back and forth to Dr. Burt and all that <sighs> just realized today is July 14th we came here to start the whole stem cell tra transplant process on February 13th so it's been exactly five months since the, the actual process of the transplant started you know, we came back like in Des November, December or something of last year, you know, for the initial evaluation and stuff. But to come up here to stay, to do everything was February 13th, five months ago. And there's no lupus. One thing for certain I'll find out today, and have to find out today, is the decision if we stay longer and receive further treatment because tomorrow our plane leaves out, I think like at 8.45 a.m. So that decision has to be made today. So I know we'll know that. This is my pathology slides from Oklahoma that we FedExed. It's hard to believe that the, those little marks on there is my pathology. And they'll do another biopsy today. Sorry about that rush around like a crazy dog to make it here at 845 because this is the department head of a special appointment and you try to respect that because you know they're busy and it took a 45 minute wait in the lobby but we made it back here to our room now so now let's see how long we have. The biopsies are considered no good for what he needs um, he says it looks like a lupus rash, and they're going to try to, but everything else is saying that there's no lupus, but they're going to do a five millimeter, whatever, five millimeter biopsy, which before there were two millimeter biopsies, so this was going to be huge. So we're getting ready to do a five millimeter biopsy. Definitely not looking forward to the biopsy. Dermablade, needles, tape, high fricator, three millimeter punch, four millimeter punch, seven millimeter, four millimeter curette, culturettes, alcohol pads, skin markers. Yeah. None of that stuff sounds fun to me. Well, we've got an answer. It's been this has been the most long, hard, tedious appointment filled telephone calls, insurance, no rest kind of week that you could believe. Okay. Here's the diagnosis. It'll take me about 5 minutes to say it. Immunosuppression related polyoma virus induced trichodysplasia. So that's the diagnosis. And the treatment is going to be a cream that I have to use on my face and that only I can put on my body. Um, then, since it's on my back, Dwayne's going to have to do it, but he's going to have to wear gloves because this medicine cannot be absorbed into his body because it's it's a dangerous medicine. Um, they used to do it by IV and it 
did a lot of liver and kidney damage and they've made it into a cream form so that's what we're going to begin with is the cream form and we have to get that compounded it's made special and we're going hell and back with our insurance company because they're not wanting to cover it for some reason and it's twenty six hundred dollars for one jar full so Dwayne's been on the phone since four o'clock trying to get that straightened out plus our airplane tickets were supposed to leave tomorrow we bought insurance on them but they're not wanting to change our flight can't figure that one out and so it's just everything's just a mess everything's a problem everything we come up against is a problem um, we're gonna have to come back in two to four weeks we're aiming for the four weeks and unless it doesn't get better and they said you know the first three days of using at least the first three days things are going to get worse before it skip gets better every my face will get inflamed and the itching and the rash and the burning will be worse and then after that it will start to improve he said but hopefully maybe it won't happen that way maybe I won't so let's believe and pray and stand in agreement that it won't get more miserable before it gets better so we're in the middle of trying to get back home because they want me here all day tomorrow to supervise me at the doctor's office and then so we're leaving out Saturday so we gotta try to get at the one-way plane ticket home and I think they're not going to change them for us that we're going to have to pay up front again for more tickets and then try to file through the insurance claim to get that reimbursed and hopefully the insurance will work out on the medication to where it's not twenty six hundred dollars and we can get it at a reasonable price <laughs> but we do have the diagnosis and so there is an in in sight and I don't know if I already explained what it is, but it's my, my, the, all my hair, the hair follicles in my oil glands are all infected with a viral infection. And how we were treating it, not knowing what it was, was my, that was the worst treatment. It made it worse um, because it made me more immunosuppressed. And so now if they're getting me off of the, what's the good thing is I'll be getting off the prednisone very quickly. Um, you know, five days, five days, five days, five days, five days, you know, tittering down to different levels and then I'll be completely off of prednisone. So that's good news, no more prednisone. <sighs> I'm exhausted, we just ordered a Chicago deep dish, deep dish pizza, and oh, it's cold right here. So I'm gonna. I know it's it's just been a horrendous day. I don't know what my footage is yet. I hope it all turns out good. And I'm gonna go eat and give me some rest. See you in the next video.